Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me this morning. <clears throat> so today I pulled a card for us, which is compassion. And the compassion card says, be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul. So a good reminder that uh, today, if um, anything doesn't feel right for you, give yourself permission to stop what you're doing uh, at any time or adjust how you see fit, how you feel that you need to for your body and for your practice. We're starting today in Sukhasana, so a nice easy seated position. And Sukha means ease and uh, asana means seat, so nice, easy seated. Uh, that means you can cross your legs if that's comfortable for you. You can have your sitting in a chair, um, whatever feels good for you. But I invite you to take a moment just to close your eyes and maybe take a nice deep breath in and exhale with a nice sigh and just let go of anything that's not going to serve you today. as you start to come into your natural breath, maybe just take a mental scan to see how you're feeling today. Everything that's physical, maybe from the toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Notice any areas that might feel a little tight or sore today. Just being mindful of these areas as you move through your practice today. And then switching your awareness and your attention to your breath. And just notice where you're breathing today. Where do you feel your breath most predominant into your body? And is there any place where you feel that you can soften or lengthen to find a little bit more ease and comfort in your breath? Allowing for that ease and that comfort as we breathe to allow for the subtle energies to start to arise. And then taking note of what emotions you might be feeling today and without getting lost in the story of why those emotions are there, just noticing what emotions might arise for you today. And then perhaps taking recognition of our thoughts that might be coming in going. What influences within our lives might be influencing our thoughts. And again, without getting lost in the story of your thoughts, just recognizing that we have these influences that would change the way we think and feel. And take a nice deep breath in and exhale with a nice sigh. Just let go of anything that's not going to serve you today. I invite you to set an intention for yourself, your sankalpa, perhaps starting it as an I am statement and finishing it off with something positive, whatever it is that 
you might feel is right for you today, something that you'd like to see ma manifest more fully in your life. And as this intention starts to surface, Perhaps as you inhale, imagine inhaling to the crown of your head and thinking the words, I am. And as you exhale, imagine exhaling all the way down to the soles of your feet and perhaps thinking of whatever word it is you're manifesting today. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale with a nice sigh, let that intention go. Release it out into the universe as a pure intention. Let go of any judgments around it. Let go of any attachments to it. Just know that it is a pure intention. You are already that. And it is something that you can draw upon at any time that you feel that you need it. Bringing your hands together at your heart center in Anjali Mudra. Let's open up our practice this morning with three sacred ohms. Take a deep breath in. And exhale all the air out. Inhale into three ohms. Uh. softly opening up your eyes taking your hands down onto your knees or your thighs let's start our practice with a little bit of movement by coming into some hip circles making sure that these circles are small or big but making sure that we're never moving into pain making sure that whatever you are doing feels right for you and then just exploring from there where can I deepen? Where do I need to back off? What sensations might start to arise? And then allowing yourself to come into the center, lengthen in through the spine, and then move in the opposite way, so circling around in the opposite direction. I am infusing today a little bit of hip opening. Those of you that are missing my hip opening classes, this is a place where we hold a lot of tension and stress. So as we circle around, really notice what your hips feel like. What does the low back feel like? Where can I be a little bit more mindful? And then allowing yourself to come into the center and doing the same thing with the shoulders the other area that we hold a lot of stress and tension into. So as we circle around, do I need to back off? Do I need to deepen? Am I hearing popping or clicking? Is one side tighter than the other? Just exploring. And then reverse direction and see what that feels like in the opposite direction. And then let the shoulders drop down. And as we lengthen in through the spine, finding those sitting bones, take your arms out to the side as you inhale. Allow the arms to float up. Make sure that the shoulders stay quiet. And as the arms come up, maybe there's a little bend into the elbows here. We give the fingers a little bit of a wiggle. And then float the arms down on an exhale. We'll do that two more times as you inhale, floating the arms up. Shoulders are quiet, a little bit of a wiggle and then turn the palms away and float the arms down. And the last one, inhale, floating the arms up. A little bit of a wiggle and float the arms down. Good. 
Let's take the left hand and place it onto the floor, the mat or the chair, wherever you're sitting. And inhale, just the right arm up. <clears throat> Keeping these shoulders quiet, we'll bend a little bit into the elbow here and fold it over to the left. Making sure that we're not reaching up and letting that shoulder come up. Our elbow is bent. We lengthen in through the spine and then we draw up on the elbow a little bit here. Finding that little bit of space in that intercostal muscles. Take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, we'll just start to rotate down to the left side. Letting that right hand come down a little bit and then inhale, we're rotating back up towards the ceiling. And maybe your head will want to float up too. And then exhale, floating all the way down, rotating towards the floor and inhaling, making our way back up. And let's do the last one here. Exhale, floating down. Rotating and floating up. And maybe our arm wants to extend back a little bit and we open up just a little bit more. Turn your head forward, inhale, come all the way up and float the arm down. Roll the shoulders. And the opposite way. Take the arms out to the side, find that length and through your spine, inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, float the arms down. Two more, inhale, keeping the shoulders quiet, floating up. And exhale, float the arms down. Last time, inhale, floating the arms up. And exhale, float the arms down. Taking this time the right hand onto the floor, inhale the left arm up. Find that length and then pull back on the elbow, lengthening in through the spine, shoulder is soft, neck is soft, and then folding over to the right. Opening up the left side of the body. Lifting up onto the elbow a little bit if you need to deepen. Find your breath. Breathe in. And as you exhale, we'll turn towards the right, curling down. And then inhale, floating up. And turn to the left a little bit. Exhale, turning and curling towards the right and down. And inhale, floating up and curling to the left. Last one, exhale, curl towards the floor. Inhale, turn towards the sky. Maybe that elbow wants to come back. Maybe your head wants to look up a little bit. And then turn our head forward, lengthening in through the spine and float the arm down. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, bring the arms up. Give a little sparkle here with the fingers. Exhale, float the arms down. Two more. Inhale, arms come up. Give a little sparkle. Exhale, float down. And last one. Inhale, taking the arms up. Give a little sparkle. Turn the palms forward. Lengthen in through the spine. And as you exhale, we're bowing forward from the hips. Take the hands down onto the floor. Let your head drop. We'll round forward. And then curl up, walk the hands back just slightly. And as we curl up, we lengthen in through the spine, roll the shoulders away. As we find this length in through the spine, we feel this pressure uh, in through the hips a little bit. If you need to adjust, go ahead and do that. And then on your next inhale, we'll come into a slight cow posture. So our tailbone moves back. Our belly and our chest move forward. We lift up our chin just slightly and roll the eyes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, we curl into cat posture by tucking our tailbone under, rounding through the spine. Our chin tucks in and then look at your nose. Shift your gaze all the way down. Inhale, roll forward into cow. Shift the eyes up, give them a little stretch. Exhale, into cat, look at your nose. One more, inhale forward and up. Gaze comes up and on the exhale, we roll into cat and look at our nose. 
From here, let's just curl up to sitting. Close our eyes, roll the shoulders back and down. Take a little pause here. Notice how you're feeling. When you're ready, softly opening up your eyes, taking our right hand onto our left knee. And the left hand back, or oh, maybe a little bit to the side of the body rather than all the way back. So just maybe tent the fingers next to the hips a little bit so that we're not really twisting yet. And we start to connect in through the sitting bones and lengthen in through the spine. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, we'll move from the pelvis into the waist, the chest, the shoulders, the neck, in the head and then shift your eyes all the way to the back of the room pick a spot that you can gaze at and then as you inhale lengthen in through the spine close your eyes release the twist and as we come back to the center we'll curl down and release our spine roll up to sitting and we'll go the same side Lengthen in through the spine. Slowly start to come into your twist. Lengthen, shift your eyes. A little bit of a pause here. Nice breath in. And as you exhale, release and curl down. Pause in the curl and then curl up. Take a moment. Same side. Coming into our twist, lengthen in through the spine, starting sitting bones, hips, waist, chest, shoulders, neck and head. Find a little bit more space here. Shift your eyes again, all the way to the back. Maybe we come a little bit deeper this time. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release and curl down. Curl back up, coming into center. We'll take a pause here. Feel free to close your eyes. Be aware of any sensations that you might feel. Find your breath. And when you're ready, we'll take it over to the other side. So finding our length. Our left hand will come onto the right knee. The right hand, again, just tense a little bit next to our um, hips. And as we lengthen in through the spine, then we find a little bit of a twist in through the sitting bones, the hips or the pelvis, the waist, chest, shoulders, neck, head. Shift your eyes all the way back. Maybe pick a spot that you can gaze at. That's your spot that we're finding is our first initial spot. And inhale, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, we'll untwist and we'll curl down here. Surrender your spine, and then slowly come back up and take a pause. We'll go again, same side. Finding that twist, lengthening up just a little bit without forcing, without efforting. As you come here, shifting your eyes again all the way to the right, find that spot again. Maybe it's moved a little bit. Maybe you found that you this time would go a little deeper. And then releasing on the exhalation and curling back down. And then last time, curl back up, take a little pause here. Let everything reset. Nice deep breath in. Maybe exhale with a nice sigh. And let's go again. Left hand on the right knee. Maybe the hand comes back a little bit more. We lengthen up a little bit here. Finding that space, shifting your eyes all the way to the right. Give your eyes a stretch. Lengthen in through the crown. And on an exhale, we'll release and curl down. Curl back up and pause here. Beautiful. Let's uncross our legs. So leaning back a little bit, 
Letting our legs extend out. If you've got any knee issues, be very mindful. Maybe a little bit of that knee tenderizer, allowing for our knees to kind of really kind of fluff in and wiggle the toes. Good. And a little bit of tapping. Let's get the blood flowing, a little bit of energy going here. And maybe even into the bottoms of the feet, maybe giving the feet a little bit of a massage. And then allow it for the soles of the feet to come together. So even if you can uh, bring your heels in quite close to the groin, let's uh, allow for a little bit of space here. So today is all about space and compassion and finding the best way for ourselves. And so having that little bit of softness as this, the heels come together in our Baddha Konasana and our knees open up, just rock back and forth a little bit and find your sitting bones. And then lengthen in through the spine and just take a pause here. Maybe our arms will want to come out to the side and as they do, we inhale, we float the arms up and we give a little bit of a wiggle. Our shoulders are soft. And then on an exhale, we float our arms down. Two more, inhale, floating the arms up. A little bit of a sparkle with our fingers and then floating the arms down. Good. And the last one, we inhale, floating the arms up, a little bit of a sparkle here. This time we'll, we'll take our palms forward and we'll sparkle as we lengthen in through the spine. We're bowing forward, moving from the hips, let the hands come down. Lengthen a little bit, take a nice breath in, and as you exhale, then we'll round and surrender into the posture to wherever's comfortable for you. Maybe we're sitting all the way up here. Maybe we're able to get our nose down to our feet. Whatever feels comfortable for you in the most compassionate way. Be kind to yourself. You're a magnificent soul. Then find your breath here. Don't allow for your mind to wander. Don't be looking at your feet saying, geez, um, I can hardly wait to get out of isolation so I can have a pedicure or what I'm going to have for dinner or where I'm going from here. There's no place to be but right here, right now. Find your breath. What is your breath doing? Where can you find that ease? Where can you let go and find a little bit more softness? And then slowly start to curl up one vertebra at a time. And as you come up, roll the shoulders back and down. Let's butterfly the knees a little bit here, just to release everything. And then we'll take our left knee and leg and we'll extend it out to the side a little bit here. So even if you can get really far apart, let's just keep it somewhere in the middle. So we're not quite forward and we're not quite all the way out to the side. We're somewhere in the middle so that we've got a little bit of play here. And then taking that right foot and bringing it right in towards the groin or wherever's comfortable for you. Maybe it's up against the knee, maybe it's a little bit higher up through the leg, or maybe it's even lower below the leg. And shift around so that we find our sitting bones and lengthen up and through the spine. Tenting our fingers a little bit here. As we press our fingertips into the floor, we find this little bit of lengthening in through the spine. And then have a look at that extended leg. Look at the foot and the toes, and we'll just press out through the heel a little bit. And the heel may come off the floor a little bit, and that's okay. And then press the heel down into the floor, and the knee comes up a little bit. So we wanna do that a couple of times. Pressing out through the heel, the heel comes up. You feel the stretch through the backs of our legs a little bit. Then the heel comes into the floor. The toes are still pointed up, but we release the knee a little bit. There's a little bit of softness into the knee. And then one more time, pressing out through the heel. Pressing the heel into the floor and lifting up through the knee, just slightly. And then find somewhere that's in the center so that we're not pressing down with the heel into the floor or really pushing out. We're finding somewhere into the center where we have a soft knee and we still have this activation in through the feet. 
Inhale, we'll float our arms up. Let the shoulders come down, we'll sparkle our fingers and then slowly start to rotate towards our extended leg. Take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, again, bowing forward. So we're not surrendering our posture. And when we're as far as we can go, and that maybe is only a little bit, maybe it's all the way up here, maybe it's all the way down without rounding in through the spine. Then sparkle the fingers all the way down. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, then surrender, forehead to knee. Let your shoulders relax, let your arms relax. And again, finding that space and breath. Finding yourself in that present moment. What is my body doing? Where can I release without moving too much? Where can I find more energy, that subtle energy moving? If I breathe a little deeper, what does that do? Maybe if I sigh, what does that do? And then as you inhale, we're going to look up, look somewhere beyond your toes, lengthen in through the spine, reaching the arms forward. We'll sparkle our arms back up. Remember, keeping the shoulders soft. We'll rotate to the center and we'll come over to the other side, taking our left hand onto the right knee, the right hand back behind, lengthen up a little bit, a little bit of a counter twist here. And then releasing. Coming back to center. Good. Focusing on this extended leg, so that left leg, we'll pick that, that knee up and we'll allow for the left knee to come into the left armpit a little bit here. Our left arm comes around the outside of the knee and the leg and we place our hand gently somewhere off close to the ankle or perhaps it's up near the thigh or maybe you can even get down towards your toes. As we do this, we pick that foot up and grab on with our opposite hand. And then allow for our elbow to come around the knee and be mindful that you don't rock back into your tailbone. From here, we wanna come forward a little bit and maybe that looks like just placing your hand onto your knee and that's okay. As we lengthen in through the spine, we'll just move or shift or rock our baby from side to side. And then let's take that baby and we'll place our one leg on top of the other. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you or this is not accessible for you, then it's perfectly acceptable to place that leg in front of the other. Okay. But if you can, stack one on top of the other, take your fingers out to the side, readjust, find those sitting bones and lengthen in through the spine. And then again, maybe close your eyes as you breathe. And notice, where can I find a little bit more space? Where can I release? One more breath here. Good. And then we'll pick that baby back up. So just grabbing on, we'll readjust. Maybe you roll back into your tailbone and then come forward. We'll give a little wiggle and a shake here. And then roll back a little bit and start to extend the right leg out to the side. And as the right leg comes out to the side, we come forward into our sitting bones. We place that left foot down wherever it wants to go. Maybe we lift up that right hip, we pull a little bit on the flesh and lengthen out in through the leg a little bit more. Pull my pant legs up so you can see what's going on with the knee. <clears throat> and then give a little press out through the heel. Curl the toes back. We're lengthening in through the spine. We feel this length, this nice stretch in through the back of the leg, and then press the heel down into the floor and let the knee come up a little bit. We feel the softening under here, but we still feel this activation in through the thigh and the leg here. And then one more time, heel, and then the knee comes up, and then a couple more times actually, pressing out through the heel, and heel comes down, knee comes up. And then knee comes down, heel presses out. And then this time as the heel comes down, we find somewhere in the center where that we feel this little bit of softening in through the knee, but we're not pointing our toes or having our foot flop out. We have this nice activation, our toes are up, 
but we have this softness in the in this activation and then taking the fingertips out to the side and just pressing into the fingers and lengthening in through the spine be mindful that you don't shrug in through the shoulders a little bit just lengthening up the shoulders are down and then inhale floating the arms up sparkle start to rotate towards your extended leg and then lengthening in through the spine remember we're keeping our head and our chin up we're looking forward between over top of our foot we're moving from the hips and sparkling to wherever we're going to get to maybe it's just here today and then we take our hands down to the floor we soften our spine is nice and long take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale then we'll surrender down think of forehead to knee maybe it reaches and maybe it doesn't maybe it's just an energetic but we surrender here we find our breath and then we observe what's going on where can i adjust where can i soften then lifting the head up looking forward extending the arms out like an offering and start to uh, sparkle those fingers coming all the way back up we come into the center we sparkle over to the other side and we come into a little bit of a twist here lengthen up a little bit of a counter twist and we release back to the center picking up our right knee and starting to bend it we walk that foot back we bring that knee right into the armpit area here and then we take our right arm on the outside of the leg placing our hand onto our knees or our thighs and then the knee can be out quite wide if you need a little bit of space for breath to breathe a little bit more comfortably and then picking up that foot and we'll cradle here so again we'll rock back into the tailbone area a little bit and then come forward and maybe your hand is just on your knee here as we find that length maybe it's not all the way around maybe it's somewhere in the middle so find that comfort i'll put my hand here today and then just kind of allow for that knee to come up to the side and back a little bit of a wiggle here and then place the foot on top or the shin on top of the other shin finding the fingertips maybe we want to lift up the hips a little bit and find a little bit of space here in our half lotus and again if half lotus is not in your wheelhouse today then place that foot in front maybe that's enough maybe that's what we're just working on is just finding that uh, cross leg position which might be difficult for us to begin with that's okay deep breath in and exhale and then from here we'll pick up that baby again and we'll give a little bit of a rock here so again finding those sitting bones if you've rocked back good and then we'll extend that left leg straight out in front and we'll take the right and we'll extend it out and give a little bit of a shake here Hopping. wiggling the toes and rolling the shoulders back and down beautiful all right from here let's roll over onto our stomachs so any way that you want to get there and allow for your uh, legs to extend back out onto your mat so don't allow for your legs just to come willy-nilly anywhere that they want we want to bring them in a little bit and we want to activate so we want to be able to have the knuckles of our toes so just like we found the balls of our feet on the bottom it's the knuckles of the toes come into the mat and we allow for our heels to be back so you can see i'm exaggerating quite a bit here we want to make sure that all 10 knuckles are into the floor we feel that activation in through our legs and then make little wings with your elbows and bring your forehead down onto the palms of your hands. You can stack one on top of the other. And just let your spine lengthen here. As you inhale, 
Imagine a string at the very top of your head. And on an inhale, that string pulls forward and we just lift our head up a little bit here. And then exhale, there's some slap on the string and our forehead comes back down. Two more times, inhale, lengthen, and just the head lifts up and exhale, we come back down. Last one, inhale, lengthen, and exhale down. And then lift your head up a little bit. Look at what hand is on top and switch so the opposite hand is on top. And then rest your forehead back down onto your hands. Keep that activation in through the feet and the legs. And on an inhale, that imaginary string lengthens your spine and lifts up your head. And exhale, the head comes back down. Two more. Inhale, lengthen, and lift. Shoulders away from the ears. And on an exhale, forehead back down to the hands. Last one, on an inhale, lengthen and lift. Head is in a neutral position and exhale, hands or forehead comes back down onto the hands. This time we inhale, we lengthen, we lift up just a little bit more. We press into our hands a little bit and slide our elbows. So our forearms come out forward. We slide our elbows back a little bit Roll the shoulders away, spread the fingers nice and wide. We sparkle our fingers, fingertips into the floor. Activate in through the legs. And then inhale, that string lengthens and pulls up a little bit. Pubis bone comes down into the floor. Breathe here. And as we hold here, again, Allow for your mind not to wander. Where can I soften? Where do I need to release? Stay present. And take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, we'll release a little bit. We'll slide our hands back. Press our weight into our hands. Push up onto the knees. Walk the knees forward just a touch. Bring our big toes to touch and our knees nice and wide. So if you need to have a little bit of padding of a blanket or something underneath your knees, then go ahead and take that. And as we come into this wide knee, we press our hips back down onto our heels. And then bring our elbows and our forehead down. And if your forehead doesn't reach the mat, feel free to stack your fists on top of each other, hands on top of each other, or forehead right down. But making sure that our hips don't come up. We don't want to sacrifice that. If you have problems with your knees, then go ahead and stay up to whatever is comfortable for you. Or you can sit up and hug the knees in towards your belly, or come down onto your back and hug the knees in towards your belly. But stay here, opening up in through the back and just breathe for a little bit. Again, observing. Softening where we can. And then slowly coming up. And as we come up, we'll come on to our hands and knees. Again, if you need a little bit of padding underneath your knees, I encourage you to take that. Whatever feels comfortable for you. But the knees are placed hip distance apart. And your legs a little bit of a shake here. 
Spreading the fingers again, nice and wide. We want those sparkling hands. Fingertips into the floor, and the hands are placed underneath the shoulders. So be mindful that they're not really far forward or too far back. That would cause us to kind of sit on our heels again. We want to be standing on our knees. So our knees are placed underneath our hips, and our hands are placed underneath our shoulders. Our hands are placed shoulder width apart, knees hip distance apart. And then again, find those beaming heels. Maybe a little bit of a tap into the tops of the feet just to know that they're there. Finding that activation by drawing the knuckles into the floor, let the heels beam back. Fingertips into the floor. And then soften the shoulders. Think again energetically of those strings at the crown of the head, drawing you forward. And perhaps a string on the tailbone, drawing back so that we find this lengthening in this space and through our vertebra. And on an inhale, we'll start to tip our tailbone up, let our belly drop, lift our chest and our head a little bit, and then our gaze looks all the way up again. And then on an exhale, we tuck our tailbone under, we start to curl through the spine, our chin tucks in. As we arch up, we look at our nose again or maybe our knees, or our feet if we can see them. Inhale back into cow, rolling the gaze up, and exhaling into cat, rolling the gaze down. Two more, every time we inhale, we open up the front part of our belly, and every time we exhale, we're opening up our spine in the back. Last one. Inhale into cow. And exhale into cat. From this cat posture, we'll bring our big toes to touch. Our knees will come wide again. We'll push back into our heels and come into a nice child's pose. This time, any variation of child's pose. Maybe you want to extend your arms out and really stretch again in through the shoulders, which is kind of nice. Stacking the hands, which is kind of nice. Or maybe the hands will come back behind and let the shoulders round. So whatever feels appropriate for you. Today, I think I want to stretch out a little bit in through the shoulders. So letting the chest come down and then soften wherever you can. Big breath in and exhale with a nice sigh. Find that space. And then from here, slowly starting to come up. And as we come up, we'll start to transition onto our backs. So as you come to laying down on your back, bend your knees and place your feet into the floor. And maybe just shift around and wiggle until we find that place that feels best for us, where we have that space in through our spine, and then we walk our feet back a little bit towards our heels. So you want to make sure that your feet aren't too far forward or too far back. Some people that really have a lot of flexibility in through the knees, and they're able to uh, pull your heels back quite far, which causes the knee to overshoot the toe. So we want to make sure that, again, we have somewhere our ankle kind of in line with our, our knee a little bit here. And then pick the toes up and give them a little bit of a wiggle. And place the toes down and find all 10 toes and the full circle of your heel. So we're finding the toe pads and the pads are here, the um, tips of the toes and then the full circle of the heel, which is this area here. Okay, so the, the heel, the mounds of the toe, and the pads of the toes, which are the pads. 
So as we place this down, find the mounds of the toes and spread the toe pads or the toes quite wide. And then have this sense of connection with all the toes. So the big toes, the second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the baby toe. And then have that connection come up into the toe mounds. So maybe we're pressing the baby toe down a little bit, but we've lifted a little bit in through that toe pad or the mound. So making sure that the knuckles of the toes are still connected without sacrificing anywhere else. And then noticing that full circle of your heel. And as we have this connection within our feet, we feel this travel up through the legs and perhaps into the pelvic floor bringing our hands along our side, we have those sparkling fingers again pressing into the mat. And maybe the thumbs kind of tuck underneath the buttocks a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. From here, start to connect with your breath. And as you inhale, feel how the tailbone curls down towards the floor. So we kind of have this activation of curling down. And then as we exhale, we feel this little bit of scooping in through the tailbone. We allow for this little bit of rocking over the back of the pelvis to come into play with the breath, just like cat and cow. As you inhale and exhale. We start to warm up a little bit in through the spine, the vertebra and the lower part of the body. And then allow for that to grow a little bit. Maybe the next time as we exhale and we curl, maybe we pray, press a little bit into the feet and lift the hips up. And then we place the hips down without flattening the back and then inhale and let the tailbone curl down. And the same thing, a couple of times finding a little bit of strength or a little bit of pressure in through the toes without efforting. And playing maybe a little bit with the height here. Maybe we wanna come up a little higher so that we have a little bit of pressure into the heart center here. allowing for each vertebra to come into play. So you can take it as high as you like or as low as you like. To your body, you play with it. Play with the sensations. Maybe we even want to, on the next one, take it right into a bridge posture where we lift up and maybe tuck the shoulders under a little bit here and allow for a little bit of pressure to come in. and then allowing that release. And this time as our hips come down, we take our arms out in a nice T position and we'll just windshield wiper the knees back and forth a little bit. And again, playing with the degree of movement, whatever feels appropriate for you. Then maybe allowing for the knees to drop over to the right and turn the palms to face up so that we tuck our shoulders under and then turn the head in the opposite direction of your knees. And just allow yourself to come into this very gentle twist. And then again, bring yourself into the present moment. Where can I soften? Where can I let go? If you were to faint right now, what would release? And then do that in the conscious way instead of in an unconscious way. And then slowly start to bring your head back to center. Turn your palms to face down so that we have this nice base of support and bring the knees back to center. And from here again, just allowing the knees to wag from right to left, readjusting the spine. 
and then letting the knees come over to the left in any way that feels comfortable for you. And turning your palms up, letting the shoulders tuck under a little bit, and then the head can move to the left, or to the right, pardon me, the opposite direction of your knees. And then again, find that conscious letting go. Where can I let go? Maybe the legs will separate a little bit. Find yourself surrender. What does that look like on this side? And bring your head back to center. Turn the palms to face down. Bring the knees back to center. And again, just windshield wiping the knees, adjusting the hips, whatever feels appropriate for you. And then taking the left foot into the left corner of your mat and the right foot into the right corner of your mat. And bringing your arms down just a little bit. So not quite close to the hips again, but not out in a T position, but somewhere in between that feels comfortable. Turn the palms up and tuck the shoulders under a little bit here. And then allow for yourself just to surrender, making any minor little slight adjustments or micro movements that you need to. As we move into our Shavasana, taking a nice deep breath in and exhaling with a nice sigh and letting go of anything that's not going to serve you today. And then again, just a little mental scan of how you are feeling physically. Where can I let go? What is my breath doing? Am I breathing even and soft? Where can I make those a little bit of adjustments to soften and find a little bit more ease? And let yourself completely relax for the next few breaths on your mat. Nothing to do but surrender. Start to bring awareness back into your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And allowing for that movement to grow into your arms and legs and just starting to move and stretch in any way that feels right for you. Perhaps bending your knees again and placing your feet into the floor and maybe a little bit of wag with the knees from right to left. And then just rolling over onto your side, either right or left, whichever you feel connected to. And finding yourself in this nice little fetal position. So let the knees come up towards the head and the head to curl down towards the knees. Let your back round and allow for this space to happen once again. And as you breathe, allow for this movement to happen through the back of your body. Let this prana flow. And then placing your top hand into the floor, we'll just give a little press and we'll come up to seated. 
And this time, as you come into Sukhasana, find the sitting bones. And just closing your eyes once again. As you lengthen in through the spine, bring your hands together at your heart center, Jali Mudra. And let your chin just gently slide down without sacrificing the length in through your spine. This wonderful mudra of gratitude and compassion. Think of today something that you can be grateful for. And then take that gratitude and think of someone that you can be grateful for. So share that gratitude with someone. And then think of one thing about yourself today that you can be grateful for. So this isn't the act of somebody doing something for you or you doing something for somebody else. It's just one thing about yourself. Be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.